they won't know enough to know when to buy them, but they don't have to because if they can buy all of America through an index fund. Well, an index fund is a fund and a fund is a basket like a group of stocks and shares or other things, but stocks and shares, for example. And the index component means that this fund tracks a particular stock market index. For example, in the US, there is a really famous index fund called the S&P 500. And this is basically the top 500 biggest companies in the US. And you can see here, these are the components of the S&P 500 right now. Well, basically what it means is we can invest in an index fund. So let's say I put $1,000 into the S&P 500 index fund. That's very good because it means that my $1,000 is now split between 500 of these companies. And crucially, it's split based on the weighting in the S&P 500. So of my $1,000 that I've just put into the S&P 500, 6.4% would be an Apple stock. And so now I own $64 worth of Apple stock. And that's pretty cool. I now own a bit of Apple. 5.4% of that would be Microsoft. So I now own $54 worth of Microsoft stock. And 0.015% of that is gonna be Ralph Lauren, which is the 498th on the S&P 500. And so I now own $14 worth of Ralph Lauren stock. Now this is a very good thing. And this is what Warren Buffett recommends. In my view, for most people, the best thing to do is to own the S&P. 500. He says that, hey, if you had an extra $100,000 to invest, you should just put it straight into the S&P 500 or some other big index fund because over time your money is going to track the market. I'm just going to kind of diversify my money across all these top 500 big companies in the US. Now, there've been a bunch of studies and surveys and Warren Buffett even did a challenge experiment thing about this that basically show that very few funds overall actually outperform the S&P 500.